Spiders are itsy bitsy nightmares. Thousands of people are hospitalized each year due to their bites. Here are the most dangerous spiders in the world. Number 10. Crawling in to the top of the list is the brown recluse spider. This is one of the most dangerous spiders in the United States. They live in the western and the southern portions of the country and like to make their homes in the undisturbed parts of buildings like attics and storage areas. What's super unsettling about these guys is that their venom destroys the walls of the blood vessels near the site of their bite, which can cause large skin ulcers in their victims. These wounds typically require several months to heal, and at any point in that time, the bite can become infected, which in many human cases has led to death. Pop quiz, hotshot. What's the first thing that you're supposed to do if you get a spider bite? See if you can guess the right answer in the comments below, and I'll let you know later on in the video if you're right. Number nine. Next up is the red back spider. The red back is a cousin of the black widow, and like many of the planet's most ferocious animals, hails from Australia. Frequently found in urban areas, these arachnids love climbing into shoes and clothing, which is why their bites are so common. In Australia alone, they are responsible for over 250 bites each year. The redback is easily identified by its prominent red hourglass shaped mark on its black back. Their bites are described as highly painful and result in sweating, rapid heartbeat, and swollen lymph nodes. Number eight, the Sydney funnel web spider is a legitimate bruiser among the spider world. Typically, spiders will try to avoid confrontations with humans. Not the Sydney funnel web spider. This truculent tank will charge humans and deliver a volley of bites while clinging to the victim. So even though its venom is no more potent than the other spiders on the list, it makes sure that its unfortunate recipient gets a full dose. What sets this spider apart is its impressive fangs. They're needle sharp and longer than those of some snakes. Packing strong venom and armed with these stunning fangs, the Sydney funnel web spider has a reputation for biting through shoe leather and into your foot. Unfortunately for us, the venom is particularly effective against primates. Within minutes of receiving a bite, you'll suffer from extreme side effects, including muscle spasms, heart palpitations, vomiting, and swelling of the brain. In some cases, death has followed in as little as 15 minutes. Thankfully, an anti-venom to their bite was created in 1981, but the window of time where the medicine is effective is crazy small. So if you get bit, you better get moving. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell button to get notified of new videos, and we always appreciate a big thumbs up. Number seven. The Goliath bird eater spider is another tarantula on the list. Typically found in rainforest regions, this horror is a nocturnal species that likes living in deep burrows. It's known for being the largest tarantula in the world by size and mass, reaching a body length of up to 4.6 inches and a body weight of up to 6.2 ounces. To give that some context, the Goliath bird eater is as big as a child's forearm and weighs as much as a puppy. These arachnids prey on mice, frogs, lizards, and of course, birds. They make a loud hissing noise called stridulation by rubbing bristles on its legs together. This bone chilling warning can be heard up to 15 feet away and is a clear signal to anyone passing by to get the hell out of there. Number six. The yellow sack spider is a tiny spider, but it's capable of delivering a nasty bite. This is an arachnid to steer clear of. The yellow sack spider can grow up to 0.39 inches and features an intense yellow color that alerts of a lethal substance that they are packing. The venom of the yellow sack spider is a cytotoxin, which means that if it gets inside of you, it will break down your cells. A bite from one of these monsters will cause severe pain horrible swelling, and lesions in humans. There are even cases in which the spider has induced a coma. And because their venom is cytotoxic, a bite from a yellow sack spider has a high probability of becoming dangerously infected. Victims of their bites are recommended to seek medical treatment immediately. 
These are the spiders that are responsible for more human bites than any other species. Number five. The black widow spider is responsible for over 2,500 annual visits to poison victim control centers in the United States alone. This spider strikes fear into the hearts of all those that tangle with it due to its highly toxic glands. Its bite is unbearably painful and if not treated in time, can be lethal. According to scientists, the Black Widow's venom is 15 times stronger than that of the rattlesnake, and it's known to trigger respiratory distress and nausea. It's no wonder that the Black Widow is still single. Number four, the wolf spider is a frightening home intruder. These arachnids don't spin webs. They run down their prey. Due to their eight large eyes, the wolf spider has excellent vision and their camouflage is adapted to their favorite habitat. So you don't see them, but they see you. Wolf spiders are the only known spiders to carry their spiderlings. A mother wolf spider can have more than a hundred babies clinging to her abdomen. And if you startle one of these mommies that's in your house, the babies will flee in all directions all over your home and you'll never get a good night's sleep again. Number three, this eight-legged creature is a type of tarantula that is found across Northern China and portions of Vietnam. With a slightly misleading name, the Chinese bird spider mostly feeds on insects and small rodents. Its powerful venom is able to snuff out these smaller animals with minimum doses. This thing is an absolute unit and can grow up to 8 inches long. According to biologists, the Chinese bird spider is not only the most aggressive, but also the most poisonous spider in China. Its poison contains a neurotoxic peptide called human toxins, which eviscerate your cells if you're unlucky enough to suffer a bite from one of these tarantulas. Their bites can precipitate paralysis and even death if the bite isn't treated quickly and properly. Number two. Coming in at number two is the camel spider. This thing is just a pure nightmare. Its body measures in at a ridiculous six inches long. But what's most frightening is that their fangs can grow up to two inches. They use these fangs to seize their victims and turn them into pulp with a sawing motion. Their favorite meals include lizards, rodents, and small birds. Also known as the sun spider, these bad boys are found in deserts all over the world. Camel spiders are lightning fast and run up to speeds of 10 miles an hour, which means they can easily run down human children without breaking a sweat. They're actually a hybrid of a spider and a scorpion and fall into the class arachnida. By the way, do you know how spiders communicate with each other? On the World Wide Web! It's answer time! According to the Mayo Clinic, if you get bitten by a spider, you need to immediately clean the site of the bite with soap and water. Apply a cool, damp cloth over the bite location and keep it elevated if it's on an extremity. Advil is actually great for helping your body to fight a bite. If swelling and pain don't reduce in 24 hours, seek medical attention. Number one. Coming in at the number one spot is the Brazilian Wandering Spider. Also known as the Banana Spider, these eight-legged destroyers are extremely aggressive. Rather than maintaining a web like most spiders, this species will actively hunt during the night and because they're just the worst, they'll typically hang out in protected shelters during the day. And these shelters are frequently human homes. The Brazilian wandering spider is poisonous to humans and are considered to be the deadliest spider in the world. They've even made it into the Guinness World Records for having the most poisonous bite of any arachnid. Their venom is toxic to the nervous system. Symptoms from one of their bites are pretty horrific. Your heart rate starts to spike. You start salivating uncontrollably. And if you're a man, you'll experience an unstoppable and painful erection known as a priapism. Because of this strange side effect, scientists are actually studying the venom of the wandering spider as a possible treatment for erectile dysfunction. So buy stock in wandering spider venom because it's on the rise. Friends, 
Who here just got arachnophobia? Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. See you in the next episode. Same Badger time, same Badger channel.